All right, time for another quick update um, for the truck. I've been working on refurbishing my recently acquired vacuum gauge, and long story short, it was rusty, it was dirty, it uh, didn't really work, and what did work was very inaccurate, um, so on and so on. So I had to completely, I disassembled it completely. We I mean, see all the parts. Um, there's actually still a few more parts inside of a bag, but I'll just go through it real quick. This here is the chrome bezel that goes on the outside. It's spotted. Um, it was very rusty when it came um, in the mail. So I got rid of the rust and I polished it up. That's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> but it was darn near all red uh, when it came in the mail, so big improvement. Um, this is nothing really, it's just a spacer. This is, it goes inside the uh, gauge, it's also sort of like a, a spacer. It sort of hides um, where the light's coming from. Um, this is one thing I worked on. This is the glass that goes in the front. And I used this metal polish, it's called uh, semi-chrome. And apparently it's the polish that polishes everything. And yeah, it polished up the glass. I used it on a few other things, but it had a lot of like stained dirt inside of it for, I don't know how that happened, but yeah, it's super clear now, super clean. Um, we'll get back to the gauge in a second, because that took a lot of work. This is the housing um, for the gauge, and it was really dirty inside, and I uh, ended up cleaning it and spray painting it with like some chrome paint because there's a light bulb that pokes through right there where my finger is and when that light it shines through and illuminates the gauge so to help make it brighter because it uses old style incandescent bulbs the real small things they're not the brightest at night so I sprayed some chrome paint I want to do that to the rest of my other gauges to help make them brighter but yeah that's nice and the nice cool thing is I only did the inside so the outside still looks original now, this is where I spent a lot of my work. Um, other videos show how I made it accurate, how I made it work, how I made it work better. Something else I didn't mention, if you see that white pad by the red dot, um, that is a spacer because there's one on the other side, it's just a piece of felt. Well, sometime in the last five decades, the piece of felt fell out, so I like super glued a paper towel pad in there because it's it helps to stabilize the face of the gauge on all the stuff on the back. Um, on the front, I cleaned it up. Um, it was oxidized. It was very chalky looking. So I put some armor all on it. Used metal polish on the stainless areas. Um, that gauge looks darn near new. So <laughs> it looks awesome. So yeah, um, the next step is to put it all together, which I gotta be careful. Because to take these things apart, you have to literally unbend the outside rim of this bezel. Um, it's not easy, it's very slow. And putting it back together without marking up the front is going to be tricky. So, yep, that's basically how it is. Um, it looks ten times better than it did when I got it, and now it's going to work also. So, yeah, that looks really nice. But yep, that's about it. Next little clip will be probably of it in the truck or something, I don't know.